Hello everybody, uh, Toby here again with a 216 Auto Restoration and the 1968 Corvette. <clears throat> um, today what I'm going to do is uh, fix this little part that's on the front of the car that was cracked and broken and it's damaged. Let me show you that right here. Uh, this piece that we down here, if you've been following along, you may have seen this on my previous video. Sorry about that. It's this piece that was broke right here. So what I did was I took my grinder and I ground out that crack that was there. Made a space right here and then I took my vice grips right here and held it together right at the front. You can see that little crack right there. So that tells me exactly where this was before. I'll try to show it here, a different angle here. Right there, there's a crack right there. You can see that. So basically what I did was I took my vice grips to get this held together right there. So I know exactly where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is do this in two parts. I'm gonna do most of this section up to about right here, and then I'm gonna stop. And when that's all completely done and set and cured, then I will come back along and I'll cut this piece out right here and rebuild it. Of course, this whole, this bolt hole right here too. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna kind of show you through the whole process here of how I do this fiberglass. And I am not an expert at doing this. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. And so anybody can do this. <clears throat> uh, the way that I learned how to do this fiberglass, of course, is just like anybody else. Get on YouTube or research. And there's all kinds of different things out there that you can find. I know there's some pretty good people that do fiberglass work out there on Corvettes. Um, one is uh, Eyeball John. Um, he's a very good, very, very knowledgeable on Corvettes and fiberglass repair and stuff. So if you watch some of his videos, he could probably definitely give you a lot better clue of what's going on than I can. But I'm going to make this work, and you can make it work too. A little <clears throat> ingenuity, a little drive. Um, anybody can do this. So what I'm going to do right here, I said this stand up here. <clears throat> so you can see my little work table here. I'm going Hopefully you can get honed in on this as good as you can and see the process here. Hopefully that works here. Get a little closer, but the closer I get, the harder it is to get focused in on this stuff. Okay, so the main part about it is, is to mix the fiberglass. Right, I got this piece cut. Not a very good cut, but I'm gonna cut this piece nice and straight. It's already pretty much the length of what I need there. And I already measured this up and got it pretty close to what it is that crack is right there and this fiberglass is kind of in layers so you can kind of pull it apart but you got to be careful because it'll start fraying on you and turn into just a bunch of hairs which is okay it, it's, it still works it's all fiberglass it's still gonna bond <clears throat> but this is the fiberglass that I use just buy this down at your local local jobber Napa Car Quest or whatever. And if you read the 
directions on here. It tells you what to mix it at. Air temperature 60 to 70 degrees right here. It's 60, you know, it's about 62 degrees in here right now. It says 18 drops per ounce. 18 drops of the catalyst. There's the catalyst right here. 18 drops. I put in this little dropper here. It makes it a little easier. <clears throat> so 18 drops of the catalyst per ounce of this. So I have a measuring cup right here. I'm going to mix up probably just about two ounces of this stuff. Right here, it's got the measurements right here. Two, four, six, eight on it for 32 ounces. It's a 32 ounce cup. I'm going to fill two ounces of this in here. Yes, you should have some gloves on when you're messing with this stuff. So, practice what you preach. I'll throw some gloves on here. I'm going to get this buttoned up. This stuff all over your hands. It's hard to get off. You pretty much have to wear it off. By wearing it off, I mean it'll come off in a couple days. <laughs> a couple of good showers. A good workout sessions. Everybody knows, you know, anybody can do this stuff. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Just learn basically on my own how to do all this stuff. And everybody else can do the exact same thing. You don't have to have a great big fancy shop and 20, 20 different people running around helping you, which would be very, very nice. But, you know, I just don't have the facilities and the money to hire people and so I'm just gonna do this myself. I've been doing this myself for years. So if you have a just a you know two or three car garage you can do this stuff too. If you watch my <clears throat> video about building a paint booth that I have back there you can you can make it happen. I look like I got a little over two ounces. So I'm gonna drip this in there like like the directions say. See, this is kind of a pinkish color. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, just mix it, and you'll see it. You'll see it start to change colors. I also, uh, <clears throat> when I ground out that piece, I sand it all around that area to give it a good bonding surface. See, it's turned from a pink to a brown now, so it's activating. see the different colors now totally changed colors 
That means it's pretty good. It's ready to go. It kicked off. It's, <clears throat> it's ready. So what I'm gonna do is these gloves on. Try to get this fiberglass to come apart because you, you put it on in layers. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. So. See what I'm talking about? It's a lot thinner. I don't know if you can see this very well, but that one quite a bit thinner than this one over here. So what I want to do is get a couple layers of this going. If I can break this down into about probably three layers anyway. And what I'll do is I'll go on the back side and put some of the fiberglass bonding material, resin, I should call it, I guess that's a proper name. Put some of that on both sides and then I'll lay these in there and dab it and dab it with the, with the resin. And that's going to help it. You can, you can do it right here on the table. Maybe I'll try one layer just to show you how that's going to work. So I've got me nice, three nice pieces here. Take this other little piece. Try to break that up a little bit. <clears throat> I also mopped up a some of the rear balance yesterday got some of that done, so I can show you that here in a few moments. Once I get this process kind of taken care of. <clears throat> Put my gloves back on. I'm messing with this stuff. I'm like getting glue, something on your hand, just kind of yucky. I'm just going to do this with one piece. when I'm done here, grab my air hose, pull that dust out of there. As I was saying yesterday, you want to keep that dust off of there. on the inside here take this resin some of it's probably going to drip through that's okay try to get it everywhere where I need it we'll put some of this on the back side 
and put some of the fiberglass on the back side and I'll put some on the front side also. I'll go ahead and grab my fiberglass material. Give me one sec here. Kind of set it in position there. I mean, you see that? I think you can. on the back side also. <clears throat> there we go. If you can see, see that. Let me put this light under here. Hopefully you can see that in there. that's been sitting there so I'm going to take and dab this in here pretty good in there. So now I can go ahead and I'll start on the front side of this. Set you back over here. As young as I used to be, a little, a little harder to get my butt moving around. I'm gonna take this piece up here. Just lay that on there like that. I'm sure this would be a little easier if it was on a flat surface, but you don't always get what you wish for. Sometimes you have to work with what you got. Most times you have to work with what you got, that's for sure. I may have mixed a little more than I needed, but... I'd have 
or more than not enough. That one's sitting in there pretty good. Take another piece of this here. And on top of that, so you basically just kind of keep layering this stuff building it up it's kind of how I did it on the back side of the car also <clears throat> on the rear if there bug balance where it was all broken and stuff it was a <clears throat> pretty big mess it's still kind of a mess I'm getting it really close I'll show you my progress after I bondoed it up and sanded it and bondoed it again and sanded it. It's getting really close. It's looking pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to take another layer here. This big piece here. stick really well like I said when I get this piece done and after it's all dried I'll pull this clamp off of here and I'll fix this piece up in here that probably won't be today it usually takes a while for this fiberglass to set up just by cheap paint brushes I know that uh, Eyeball John, he, he is on YouTube. He's got a few videos out there. <clears throat> he takes his uh, paintbrush like this here, and what he'll do is he'll, he'll trim them up and make them a little bit stubby. I think that probably helps with the layering, laying down of this mixture of this resin. Get any of the air bubbles out of there. And that looks pretty good. It looks pretty flush. Oh my my eye can see if I'm looking down this way here. It looks like it's pretty flush. It's setting up pretty good. resin on the back side of here. There we go. That's it. That's how I <coughs> that's how I do the fiberglass from what I've learned from watching videos and whatnot. And I said this is, well, I don't know if it's my very first time working for, with fiberglass, but it's definitely a different experience than working with metal. It was metal and there was a piece of rust right here or something. Cut that out, put a different piece in, weld it up, sand it smooth, grind it smooth, put some filler on it, smooth it out, be done. So it's basically the same principle. All of these Corvettes, like I said before, they're all, <clears throat> it's all bonding material. So everything glued together, not, not too many things are bolted. <clears throat> so it's a different trick to, to mess with. So there you have it, everybody. I'm gonna get rid of these gloves here. So I touch my phone. <clears throat> there you have it on the fiberglass part. So let me just show you a little bit of the process that I've made on the um, valance. I'll do that on uh, another episode here. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Toby here with the 216 
auto restoration. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, take care.